evolution of cars. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore how cars have evolved over the years, all the way from its origin. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. We release videos on interesting topics such as this one bi-weekly. The word car is believed to originate from the Latin word carus or carum, meaning wheeled vehicle or two-wheeled cart. It originally referred to any wheeled horse-drawn vehicle such as a cart, carriage, or wagon. In 1672, a man named Ferdinand Verbiest developed the first ever working steam-powered car-like vehicle for the Emperor of China. However, the device was deemed toy-like and not fit to be driven. Following that, in 1770, Nicholas Joseph Sugnat from France invented the first self-propelled steam vehicle that could be used to transport people in cargo. However, the design and make was not practical and hence scrapped. Finally, Great Britain produced the first functional full-size car in 1801. This invention is credited to Richard Trevlethen. In 1806, Francois Isaac de Rivaz, a famous Swiss engineer, designed the first internal combustion engine, following which four-stroke petrol and diesel internal combustion engines were invented by Nicholas Otto and Rudolf Diesel, respectively. Then in 1870, Siegfried Marcus placed an internal combustion engine in a modest hand-driven cart, making him the first man to use gasoline to power a car. This hand cart was popularly known as the Marcus car. His life's work was, however, destroyed by the Nazis as an attempt to erase him from the history books due to his Jewish origin. Despite these numerous attempts, the first car as we understand it today was invented by Carl Benz and his wife Bertha, who test drove it to verify its roadworthiness. It could only accommodate two passengers and had three wheels. Although the first automobile patent was filed by an American, George B. Selden, in 1879, after a long-drawn legal battle for 16 years, the first automobile patent was granted to the German citizen Carl Benz in 1886 under the patent number 37435. He produced cars under the trade name Benz in 1888, and a Frenchman, Emile Roger, was given the sole right to sell his cars abroad. In 1896, the Duria Motor Wagon Company came into existence. This is the first American brand to produce gas-powered automobiles. Renault produced its first car in 1898. Back then, it took anywhere from 45 to 90 days to manufacture a single car, and it was considered a luxury. Sir Henry Ford, in 1908, radically changed how the public perceived cars by launching the Model T, popularly known as the 10 Lizzie. It debuted in 1908, and over 10,000 units were sold within the year. Its design team consisted of Childe Harold Wills, C.J. Smith, and Joseph Galam. Its success can be attributed to its affordability by the rising middle class. As time went by, many automotive companies like Rolls-Royce, Peugeot, Cadillac, and many others started to establish their presence in the markets, but their focus was providing a comfortable, if not luxurious, experience to the passengers. By 1910, mass production of cars was under full swing. The first company established solely to produce cars was the Panhard at Levasseur. Ford once again raised the bar for the automobile industry by introducing the assembly line. By 1913, all the cars in his factory were produced through it. The idea was that the car would move from a person or group for a job and be passed on until the entire work was done and the car was ready. This immensely sped and eased the process of production. Meanwhile, the invention of the electric starter by Cadillac in 1911 eliminated the effort to put into hand cranking the engine. And later, with the advent of independent suspension, the comfort and the joy of driving were irrefutable. The framework of the car vastly improved due to the motorsport events hosted periodically by car makers and private enterprises at that time, which gave the car makers a platform to test their cars in real time and improve their designs. Initially, cars were boxy and not aerodynamic. It was through these events that inspiration struck to curve the roof to improve the speed and reduce drag. Cars were downsized by reducing its unnecessary weight. The domination exerted by the U.S. and European countries was challenged by Japanese companies like Nissan, Honda, and Toyota. They took over the market with their low-priced cars, even in the West. 
Despite popular ignorance to the fact, most of the high-end features that we desire today were introduced in the previous century. Cruise control was introduced in 1948, passenger airbag in 1973, heated seats in 1966, and anti-lock braking system or ABS in 1970. Range Rover was the first SUV ever and it was introduced in the 1970s. The 80s and 90s witnessed installation of microprocessors to check emissions, GPS, CD and MP3 players, and electric windows. The 20th century also witnessed a major revolution in the automobile industry that we believe is more recent, the concept of electric cars. During the 1970s, the oil crisis drove car manufacturers to improve the fuel efficiency of their cars and the search for efficient powertrains began. A powertrain is a system of components involved in the generation and delivery of power for the vehicle. Several studies explored the usage of biodiesel and the concept of electric and hybrid cars, which were conceived to achieve either better fuel economy or better performance. Many hybrid cars reduce idle emissions by shutting down the engine when idle and restarting when necessary. This is known as a start-stop system. According to the American Census, around 28% of U.S. cars produced were electric at the time. Various companies like Olds Motor Vehicle Company and Cadillac also joined this race. However, despite their availability, they were not very successful as they had short range and slow refueling options. They couldn't beat the performance and the comfort of a conventional car. Recently, the environmental awareness, soaring fuel prices, and improvements in the battery technology have turned the tide in its favor. They are considered environmentally friendly and cheaper to maintain and use despite high initial costs. On the other side of the spectrum, many car makers like Bugatti, McLaren, Pagani, Koenigsegg, and Lamborghini started to adapt carbon fiber, which led to the birth of a new genre of cars called the hypercars. Although these cars are more expensive because of the expensive components in play, it was easily the go-to choice for the daredevils who preferred performance. These cars are not ideal for daily commutes and for those thrifty at heart. Now, in the 21st century, autonomous driving is considered the most innovative. It's achieved by enabling the car to sense its environment accurately and move safely with little or no human input by employing a variety of sensors to perceive their surroundings. This is still in the nascent stage, although some countries are testing them. This could forever change the way cars are experienced. All of the developments that we've seen are due to the technological overhaul. Tomorrow's factories and cars will be nothing like they are today. Cars are redesigned materially to ensure sustained connectivity. Numerous smart devices will have to be connected and integrated, including computers, cameras, and infotainment centers. This means that cars of tomorrow will be able to make decisions that could save or end your life. In short, the future of cars is so close and it's electric, autonomous, and connected. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and share this video. We'll be back soon with another interesting subject. Until then, stay tuned.